BBC News with Emily Thomas. A lawyer acting for the collapsed cryptocurrency exchange FTX says its owner treated it like his personal fiefdom. He told a bankruptcy hearing the exchange's collapse was one of the most abrupt in corporate American history with billions of dollars of assets stolen or lost. Donald Trump's tax returns are to be handed over to a Democrat-led House of Representatives committee only weeks before Republicans take control of the chamber. The Supreme Court refused to block the release as requested by Mr Trump, who claims the committee's investigation into his tax affairs is politically motivated. Nigeria has begun extracting its first commercial quantities of crude oil in the northeast of the country. The move comes despite an Islamist surgency in the region. Rescue teams in Indonesia are spending a second night trying to find more survivors trapped under rubble following Monday's earthquake. The tremor is so far known to have killed 268 people. Ukraine's electricity operator says there are practically no undamaged thermal and hydroelectric power plants left after six waves of Russian bombardment. People across Ukraine have been hit by rolling power cuts as cold weather sets in. The far-right party of Brazil's outgoing president, Jair Bolsonaro, has issued a challenge to October's election that saw him lose narrowly to Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. The Liberal Party claims without proof that some voting machines were compromised. The American owners of Manchester United say they're considering selling the English Premier League football club. The Glazer family bought Man U almost 20 years ago for about a billion dollars, but saddled it with debts they incurred during the purchase. The defending champions France have opened their campaign at the Football World Cup with a thumping 4-1 victory over Australia. But the result that's dominating headlines came earlier with Saudi Arabia's stunning 2-1 upset over Argentina. BBC News.